Hello, my fellow soul gardeners. I'm here with some exciting news. Since Saturn is in Libra and our lives are about to change, I'm going to offer my 90-minute reading for the price of one hour to everyone in Soul Garden. It doesn't have to be your birthday. This is an excellent opportunity to get a big assessment on your life. And I must warn you, this is the last time this month that I'm offering this special. In fact, when the sun moves into Scorpio, I'm raising soul capital. I'm raising the prices. So if you've always wanted a reading or you're waiting for your birthday, don't. Come on down to LiveLoveB.TV. There's a video that explains what's involved in a reading. Purchase one hour, and we'll turn around and book you 90 minutes. Hope to see you there. Hello, my captain. Welcome now to Tuesday. Thanks for logging in. Sunny, chatty, pensive, all of the above. For the goats, the moon is in Pisces again today. So emotions and intellect are co-triggering one another. Excellent time, though, to bring these two states of awareness together to communicate your thoughts, to put it out there, to really get things off your chest, and really to monitor the co-triggering. Don't fall into negative thinking today if you can help it. Do not fall into mopiness due to a head trip. What's going to happen is tonight through tomorrow, the moon crosses Jupiter and Uranus. So whatever you go to sleep thinking and feeling is going to multiply as you sleep in the United States. For those of you in Europe, it's going to expand for the first half of the day. So be aware of that. It's kind of the universe slapping you on your back. Oh, you went to bed in a bad mood? Great! Let's multiply that through the night. Zip into the sun. We're in chapter three of Sun in Libra. Today, Saturn is ruling the day, and Saturn ruling the day is some serious business. That's what Saturn's about. Let's make some decisions, says Saturn. In your case, it's time to get some decisions made about where your career is growing. All right? Now, I want to put this out to you. This Saturn transit does not wrap up until 2012. So whatever decision you make today may be wrong. It's what you know so far. It's the best decision you can make. You are going on a 18-month transit in career and where you think career should go. You don't know it all. The universe hasn't revealed it all. And you can't get away without making a decision. So it is time to make a decision and see where you want to grow for the next year. Do the best you can. Tell the universe, this is what I want, this is what I've learned, this is where I want to point my life. And whatever you don't know, you don't know. Don't worry, your home planet Saturn will see to it that you learn in the next 365. And in a way, the Capricorns are getting a taste of your own medicine. This is what it's like when a captain reprimands you, by the way, a Saturn transit in your house of career. Just so you know, I'm just saying. Now also, I want to point out to those who have Capricorn risings, you too need to make a decision about your career. I think it's probably more external than it is internal. For those with Capricorn risings, it's probably something very much a fork in the road in the sense that Capricorn risings are deciding to quit a job or, or not quit a job. Whereas Capricorn suns are trying to decide where should I go, what should I try to manifest. It's probably a lot more internal. So Capricorn suns internalizing this a lot more, Capricorn risings doing this in the external. Both are making decisions. Both will be learning career issues for the next 18 months. And it's Tuesday. We've got a new episode of Just Ask Us, starring Lauren Sarah, fan practical advice, and intuitive Angelo Eros, coming together in a very funny and informative way on camera, answering your questions that you emailed us. Don't miss this comic duo. They are fun and informative and live everywhere. Our soul garden blooms. All right, Capricorn, that's all I have for today. Tomorrow we've got to take action, so get that decision in by midnight, will you? All right, live, love, be. So.